Volvo's slogan is for life. I can't make that into a cool intro line I'm happy with, and honestly, that's their fault. This is Internet Personality Evangelist, and this is Volvo VNR 300 Optimus Prime, previously released as Holiday Optimus Prime, a toy I still wish I'd managed to buy on a discount while it was kicking around. Maybe a, an Xmas miracle can yet come true. Either way, this is a licensed collaboration between Transformers and Volvo. It's unconfirmed, but the Street Smack rumor mill says this version was originally going to be Amazon branded. Some suspect Hasbro backed off, making such a direct handshake with one of the capitalist apocalypse nexus points of the 21st century, but my own theory is that they decided to kill that name collab because a different Street Smack rumor mill says Hasbro and other product packaging requiring corporations are a bit salty at Amazon for taking control of a huge percentage of the world's cardboard supply. What's your theory, and can yours overcome the sheer degree to which none of this really matters? In the context of this and a toy review? This video was sponsored in part by ToyHacks.com. Use the code LADIESMANGELUS through the month of February 2024 for 15% off your order of labels and other paraphernalia. Using the code supports the channel. Supporting the channel feeds the machine. This is a licensed rendition of a Volvo VNR300 truck. At a glance, I think it looks fairly accurate, but I know that the sweatier truck nutters out there have a far better eye for chassis angles, sorry, chassis angles, and specificity of detail than I do. No judgment from me, at least no more judgment than the grippable amount that I have for Macross line art fetishists. More importantly is the fact that this is the design's first run in quote unquote normal colors as it debuted in a holiday-themed deco that loudly obscured some of its licensed realism, in the opinion of people who think that trucks just don't look like Santa Claus. I am making the layman's assumption that this Optimus Prime's colors, and indeed Optimus Prime's general color scheme, uh, is realistic. But hey, they seat well on these truck shapes and the Pantones are solid choices. There's also a tiny silver-dashed Volvo logo up front in a move some could call the reverse sideburn. I'm severely enjoying how thin and low to the ground the rear of the truck looks as opposed to a usual thickened leg-bearing mass that one tends to see on an Optimus Prime. Unfortunately, that is partly to accommodate the included trailer. I can hear you pulling a knife on me as I refer to a whole ass included trailer as unfortunate, but that's because it's the Earthrise trailer. It's just the Earthrise trailer in somehow slightly more boring colors. It does feature a new added on trailer hitch piece, but otherwise opens the same to reveal the same command center with the same hinged command module, the same foldable ion cannon accessory. It's also the same size, a size I lamented and bemoaned as making the Earthrise trailer one of my least favorite Optimus Prime trailers ever released, as it feels nakedly responsible for double digits of the leader class price point while delivering a single digit satisfaction at best. And it's the same case here! Anyway, let's pretend the trailer doesn't exist for a sec, because Volvo Optimus Prime's Volvic power truly begins to erupt with the transformation, a gloriously non-G1 Optimus Prime sequence that first seeded my mind with the idea of this being a new Neo Classics convoy for a new decade. Mainly, it's the fact that this guy gets a little G2 Hero Prime and reforms a ton of the truck cab's mass into his legs. While that can invite visions of a harrowing, complicated process, it really comes down to a simple leg unfold that's wrapped in a trinity of sequential locks that all swing out of the way and then back into place. The order does matter, and you have to get the feet out of their alcoves in between, but the process otherwise rides a satisfying line between number of steps and user end execution of steps. The upper body exudes an unmade badass animated stock footage sequence as the remaining rearward truck mass folds and compresses upon itself to form a svelte torso and wheeled up backpack between a pair of straightforward upper appendages. There's even a dynamic head reveal into dynamic face reveal, you know, like turning the head around, since the head has to face a certain way in alt mode for a certain tab to slot into the back of Prime's helmet. In short, once I learned the order of operations on the legs, this became one of my favorite transformations of the year, partly because I never owned a G2 Hero Prime, maybe. 
The last thing I expected out of a Volvo-branded Optimus Prime, originally designed for an Amazon-branded collaboration no less, was a total banger hero silhouette Optimus Prime. He harkens somewhat to the combat hero of Generation 2, but only barely in my opinion. This feels very fresh to me, like a new Optimus Prime for a new cartoon that isn't going out of its way to align with the evergreen design pool. Obviously his lower legs are girthed and meated, but his upper body is Svelte and broad, with a tight and wheeled backpack that tops off his motif of nitrous and vulvinated evolution. Even the head sculpt goes all in, boldly stating that this is Optimus Prime, but not as we knew him, yet still bearing the same courageous heart. The color layout is that of red and blue Optimus, but it's one that cohabitates the new design without subsuming it. Rather than classics or generations or even legacy, this feels more akin to a Generation 3 renewal. A sentiment that admitted headbutts a wall once you get into the accessories, which are Earthrise Optimus Primes. The gun still works, and the Matrix still has a hinged chest cavity to occupy, and hey, that chest cavity isn't Earthrise Primes. Uh, the Matrix is still basically useless and ungrippable outside of its chamber, so I don't know why you'd never really take it out. And the trailer is still the Earthrise trailer. You can open it, yay! You can stand it up, ooh, you can detach the command centerpiece, ah. There's still no included roller, sigh. I still feel an astonishing sense sense of tepid ennui when I interact with this underwhelming hinged box. At least there are non-F Productions upgrade parts for it now. You know, someone had to do something to make this thing have purpose. I should really say, non-F's parts for this are really cool, so I don't want my tone to, like, seep into those. They are, they are, they are actually better than the trailer they are upgrading, in my opinion. This magnificent head sculpt is on a magnificent ball joint. It's got lots of nod, and just a little bit of side-to-side -side waggle, it's pretty much the bare minimum I'd love to see from a modern ball-socketed neck. As is this full-on swivel shoulder, which does the bare minimum of swiveling and going outwards. Full-on T-pose, he's made of boxes, it just looks suitable. The bicep swivel is right there in the bicep. The elbow joint is in the, the elbow, goes 90 degrees. He's got ball-socketed wrists, mostly just for swivel, because if you try to get any waggle out of these, you get a tiny bit, but mostly you're just going to do that. There's a mostly unimpeded waist-cut joint. Uh, it's not going to bump into the backpack stuff very much, unless you're really figuring out how to collide that little bit with that little bit, and you know what, at that point you're putting in the work, and, and congrats. He can kick forwards and backwards. If you twist his body just right, he can kick a little bit higher than uh, just sitting down straight on a flat surface, and he can also fully place his vulvic genitalia, his vulvic undercrotch. He does this. By the way, he's got that thing where the solution to the skirts is that the skirts are just part of the hips, and I'm always a friend of that. His thigh swivels are right there below the hips where the thigh is located on most organisms. He's got a hinged knee for that 90 degrees despite all the big hunk. There's a transformation joint that lets you wiggle this just a little bit, which allows you to do this to get that hero stance, that Kobolski S, that, uh, you know, the way that hero characters tend to get drawn what in cartoons. And then the ankles have a dedicated little tilt, big ass heel there, so the tilt is, uh, is pretty, pretty much usable despite, you know, it does the thing. So there's a big hole there. And uh, you, you can kind of flap his foot backwards a bit on a transformation joint. Doesn't really go forwards. You can point the toes downwards a bit from a transformation joint, mostly so he can, like, leap. But uh, yeah, very basically posable Optimus Prime. Hits all the marks. Looks good while he's doing it, especially on a slim, boxy body like this. I like it. Having missed Holiday Optimus Prime, the VNR 300 version was the best kind of surprise. A toy that landed incredibly well with me, months after most folks I know were already done talking about it. This hits the major Transformers trifecta. I like the alt mode. I like the robot mode. I like transforming the toy between both modes. Who knew a Volvo cross brand would be my thing? The worst part about this toy is the fact that it's leader class, and the fact that the leader classness is mostly defined by the oxygen sucking bore of the Earthrise trailer. Like, this toy is packaged in vehicle mode, resulting in the most compact leader class packaging of recent memory, and most of that is thanks to the Earthrise trailer being such a weedy little rectangle. It's such a shame that a fairly fresh and exciting truck former has been saddled with that thing. 
perpetually capping its recommendation factor at kinda overpriced but cool. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Evangelism. Nothing fills my own gas tank with vulvic power like my supporters on Patreon and YouTube membership and other platforms that can do the supporter thing. You know, I hope to get a spectacular deal on Holiday Prime in a dealer room someday because when I look at the pair, I get sibling double rider visions that no Optimus type has given me before.